Are you constantly worried about the future? Are you worried about your health? Are you worried about your finances? If so, you've reached the right video. If you're going through a crisis at the moment and you don't know where to go or don't know what to do and your mind is filled with worry, just remember that life is always going to throw you punches and there are things you just cannot control. And there's actually a lot of things that you can't control. And just realize that the only thing you can control is your reaction to those things. So for example, uh, we all want the best future. We all want a rich future filled with happiness, uh, time to spend with your loved ones, time to spend on your own projects, right? You always want these things to happen in future, but if you don't get it, you're gonna be miserable. We want to live a healthy lifestyle, but if we, if we are struck with health problems, we're going to be miserable, right? Just realize that life is always going to throw you punches and there's nothing you can do about it. You can have a perfect lifestyle at the start, but then things are just going to happen. That's just the way life is. And unfortunately, you can't control it. You can help alleviate some of that risk. So for example, if you're constantly smoking, if you're always drinking, there is a chance that you're going to have health problems in future. But if you learn to just cut back and not do those type of things, you lower those chances of that happening in future. But it doesn't mean that 100% guarantee that you're not going to have problems in future, no matter how hard you try, believe me. If you're going through a tough time, if you don't know where to go, if, you, if you've tried reaching out to people and things are not working, always remember that life is not in your control. A lot of things that happen to you, happens to you externally and you had no control over it. Yes, you could have done things differently. Yes, you could have uh, walk down a different type of street or yes you could have you know not done that thing in the past that has led to this situation right now right yeah those are the things that could have happened but there's a lot of probability that if you did something else something else could have happened so it's impossible for you to predict the perfect future so how do you stay grounded in these type of situations no matter how much chaos you're going through no matter how much problems you're having at the moment always remember that things are happening to you and that's not within your control. You can't control what people say about you. You can't control what people think of you. You have zero control over that. If you're working in a job, you could be doing a great thing. You could be a great worker, but then they decide to make your department redundant. That's not in your control. If you drive down the street, you're driving carefully on the road, but then there's a car accident coming up ahead. That's not in your control. There's a lot of things that will happen to you. So it's important to just realize that um, you can get lost in the sea of chaos. You can blame things on yourself. You can blame things um, that you should have done. You feel sad, depressed, but just remember, you can't control a lot of things out there. The only thing you can control is how you react to it. So for example, um, let's say that you're working in a job, you're working very hard, and then all of a sudden they make you fire, they, they fire you. You can go away and you can feel really sad, depressed, angry, and hurt. And that's normal, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that, um, believe me, I'm going through that at the moment. But just remember that it's not within your control. The only thing you can do that's within your circle of control is how can you get another job? How can you make more income? How can you get another stream of income? So the only thing you can control is, okay, I can't control that being fired, but I can control how I respond to this. How can I respond to this? Start applying for another job, start going for another interviews. I can go for interviews, I can make phone calls, I can apply for jobs, those are things I can do. I can't control the outcome of those jobs, whether I'll get the job or not. I can probably increase the chance of, the, of myself getting those a new job, but I can take action to change my current circumstances. We don't know what's happening in future, we don't know why, we, where we've got so many problems or so much bad luck, we don't know that, but we can respond to that. So I think the, the most important thing to remember is if you're worrying about a lot of things, yes, it's okay, you can, you're miserable, you're tired, and life is really bad at the moment, but the most important thing is just to keep taking action, keep showing up, keep doing the things that will move you forward to a better, brighter future. If you're in the darkness right now, I'm there with you. I know that you're going through a tough time, it's okay. But the most important thing, just keep making phone calls, keep talking to someone, do something that will move you forward every single day. We don't know why things are happening to you right now, but you can just always keep doing something every single day that will just get you out of this dark place right now. And eventually, um, just remember that Nothing in life is permanent. 
So the problems that you're going through now is not permanent. So if let's say that for you, in order for you to get out of a particular situation, you need to take X number of steps. Maybe it's 20 steps. You need to make phone calls, book an appointment. You need to see a doctor. You need to see a second meeting. You need to see another doctor, whatever it is. But let's say approximately it's about 20 steps. If every day you took one step in 20 days, that problem would be reduced. You'll be able to get out of that problem. So look at it like that, is that control the controllables. Yes, there's a lot of things that you're uncertain at the moment, but the only thing you can control right now in this particular time is what you do right now. How do you respond? Take one step forward into a brighter future. Make that phone call, send off that email, book that appointment, book that doctor appointment, start saving money. You know, even if you don't feel that it's working, just do something because you might go there, it might not work. But then if you go another way, it, it might not work, but if you go another way, it works. So therefore, those two steps, even though it didn't work, it still helped you get to the right step. And that's the most important thing. Focus on just the next step forward. Don't worry about the future. Don't worry about the past. Live in date tight compartments. You can't do anything about the past and you can't do anything about the future. The only thing you can do is focus on now. So I'm currently reading a book called um, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. Uh, this is the second time I've read this book because uh, last time I read this book was probably about 10 years ago or something. I read this book 10 years ago when I was going through a lot of struggles. So you can see all the, you can see all the, uh, all my notes there. I just highlight everything, you know. Uh, it's a great book by Dale Carnegie. I highly recommend it for you to check it out. Uh, but yeah, it talks a lot about the different techniques in which you can manage worry. And this is face facts you know you can't stop worrying it's very very hard to stop worrying and if you're still worrying that's okay but the only thing you can do is just to take action every single day and then eventually you get out of this darkness of this tunnel of darkness and eventually reach to the light so uh, I don't know whether this video is going to help you or not I hope it does um, and please reach out to me if you've got any uh, got any comments or some suggestions whatever it is I'm keen to hear about your thoughts and feedback and uh, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.